Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to do another body shop video. I'm going to try and do one body shop video a week because I know that those videos get the most views on my channel. People request them. Somebody requested this video, which is to review the tea tree range. I have previously reviewed the vitamin C range at the body shop, which is actually my favorite range. So I'll link that in the description if you want to go and watch that video. Somebody in that video did request for me to do this video. So thank you for your request. And also somebody did comment in that video asking if it was sponsored or they assumed that the video was sponsored. My channel is too small to be sponsored by the body shop. No, my videos are not sponsored. I do do some sponsored videos, but not with big brands or anything like that. So yeah, definitely nothing to do with the body shop ever on my channel would ever be sponsored. So clearing that one up, this is all my own opinions. So today I just wanted to review this range, A, because somebody asked and B, because I do have quite a lot of opinions on the products. Now, whenever I review the ranges from the body shop, which I'm gonna start doing a few more, I'm going to review the products that I've tried and then discuss the products I haven't tried. I do know information about each one. I have, um, since doing the body shop at home, when I was doing that, learned information about each one and who should use them and who shouldn't. So hopefully this will be helpful. Overall, so just overall in general, the tea tree range is kind of aimed at people with spots or people that have got like, not acne, but just a fair few spots and things like that. Now for me, tea tree is quite, you know, an important ingredient in my skincare routine, but I would say to not overdo the tea tree. If you have spots and loads of spots, don't assume that you need every single tea tree product under the sun and that will cure your spots. If anything, it would dry your skin out so, so much. What I would recommend is that you look at this video, you decide which products you'd like to try, just two or three, and then incorporate that in a routine with really hydrating, you know, moisturizing products that you've got that moisture and you've also got the products to help with the spots. So I think that is what's really important and it doesn't matter which products you use, some products are better than others as you will see, but let's get into the video. So I have got some notes up on my laptop because I can't film videos without notes because my brain would be all over. So first of all, we've got the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. So this is £6.50. So I think price-wise it's actually not too high. Like compared to the other products on there, that's actually a decent price. Now I've not actually used this product because I like to go for facial washes that are just more kind of like hydrating and just different and unique. I've tried the Drops of Youth one, I've got the Drops of Light one, I've had a vitamin C one. I just personally, because I don't suffer with spots that much, I just haven't tried this one. People that I've heard from have said that it is really good and it doesn't kind of aggravate their skin or anything like that. What I would say is that you shouldn't overuse products like this and you shouldn't, you know, overuse tea tree products because your skin will dry it out. But it is one of those cleansers that is more deep cleansing into the skin. Whereas ones like the Drops of Light one are more kind of on the surface of the skin. Whereas this one's more kind of getting in there and kind of cleansing your skin and bacteria and spots and everything like that. Next one we have is a night mask, which I do actually have and have used and I'm still using. So this is what it looks like. This is it here. This is the Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Overnight Mask. I literally have nearly run out of this. Like I'm, well, basically I have run out of this and I'm gonna put it in an empties video coming very soon. I'm doing a body shop um, product empties video in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that. I think that's gonna be up on Tuesday. But yeah, this is just for putting on overnight. Now, this is nice for reducing individual spots overnight. However, when you put this all over your face, you'll wake up in the morning and you've got green all over your face still, and it just doesn't look the greatest. Me personally, I don't like to use this all over my face because it does dry your skin out. I'm there for the hydration. I love kind of moisturized soft skin rather than stripping back because of spots. You know, spots aren't necessarily a massive issue to me. So I would put these on individual spots or I would just put them on spots, you know, after everything in my skincare routine, just dab them around and that's kind of what I do instead of putting it over my whole face. This product does last a long time. A little goes a long way, especially if you're just doing what I do, which is just specifically put it onto the kind of spots on your face. It is quite a strong smell. So remember that this is meant to be an overnight mask. You are meant to sleep wearing this mask 
and the smell is obviously tea tree it's very strong maybe you'll struggle sleeping with it on and also i found that this would kind of go on my pillow so i would lay onto my pillow and the product would transfer so i didn't like that about this i would say that i would give this product overall a 7 out of 10 would i repurchase no it's just not something that i need in my routine next up we've got the oh by the way that's 12 pounds next up we have the tea tree skin clearing mattifying toner it is eight pounds fifty for the full size so it's a bit more expensive than the facial wash and this to me just screams drying out your skin when it comes to toners they can be quite harsh anyway and they can be quite you know powerful and really strip back the skin and when something is as strong as tea tree which it is a very strong ingredient that can really kind of be quite harsh on your skin so i'm not sure about this one because i haven't tried it but i have heard from other people that they don't use the toner and um, when i used to do the body shop they would say I don't like the toner it made my skin really um aggravated it made my spots itch and things like that so that's just something to bear in mind um personally I think from what I've heard that it's quite harsh I personally wouldn't recommend it myself however everybody's different but from the general consensus of what I've heard it's not the greatest what I would recommend for a toner is you know like I said when it comes to tea tree you select your products you've got your kind of core sort of two or three products that will help you with your spots and the rest of the product should be there for hydration softness and um, smoothness to the skin just to balance that out you don't need to go all you know all into tea tree because it will really kind of aggravate your skin but what i would say is to use a product like drops of youth toner is it a toner or is it an essence no the drops of youth essence lotion so it's not a toner but for me it's one of those products that gives so much hydration to the skin that it just makes a massive difference to the softness of your skin and also it's not clearing out your spots and clearing your skin isn't all about tea tree and it's not all about kind of drying products you do need hydration as well so yeah that's a really good one to recommend it isn't a toner necessarily if you want a hydrating plumping toner use the british rose toner i've got that and i'm using that at the minute that's very plumping it's not harsh it's just a nice really kind of hydrating toner so i would recommend that one however if the toner is the only tea tree product that you're using in your routine then that is completely fine okay next product is the daily solution which again i didn't try obviously i'm not going to try the reason why i haven't tried a lot of these products and you're probably thinking how can you review them but it's because i do know a lot of information about them but the reason why i haven't tried a lot of these products is because i don't want tons of tea tree products in my routine i've got my core products that i'm happy with that treat my spots and that's it you don't need to overload um so the tea tree anti-imperfection daily solution it is 13 pounds and you get i think it's 50 mil yeah you get 50 mil and personally i don't think this product is needed in your skincare routine it's one of those things that's just like an extra or if you've got your kind of like normal routine with your moisturizer and your toner and everything like that like you've got your normal products that you use and your cleanser and then this is just like an added extra into that routine and that's the only tea tree product that you've got then that is absolutely fine that's what it's there for however i think if you've already got like a tea tree cleanser and a tea tree moisturizer then this is just not needed it's just overload of tea tree and it's just not essential like all that it really says on the website is that it helps to combat blemishes that's all it really says which is what all the other products say so it's just one of those products that they've just got extra on there just to add to your routine um but i wouldn't personally but obviously if you disagree with what i say put it in the comments and let everyone know so the foam cleanser so i have got a i've not got this foam cleanser but i've got the drops of youth foam cleanser and i really like foam cleansers they're more kind of lightweight they're not as harsh when it comes to kind of rubbing things in sorry my mum's just messaged me um so yeah foam cleanser it is similar to the facial wash that they've got but it's less kind of intense and it's less drying it's more of like a lightweight kind of product because it's a foam you get less product um that you're kind of using every single time and i do really like them um in terms of foam cleansers i think if you don't want something too harsh um with tea tree then maybe that's something to go for so yeah it does just feel lighter and fresher when you're using it it is a more fresh kind of product it's six pound fifty so it is the same price as the other cleanser so basically you can just mix and match see what you like 
Okay, the next product is something that I have and have used for a while. This is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Clay Mask. This is £11, which I think is a really good price for this product because they've got their expert face masks on their website, which are like, are they £18 now? I think they were £16 and now they're 18 which is just so expensive in my opinion. Obviously, this is um, the Tea Tree one that they do. This is a clay mask. Now, you will know possibly if you've been watching my channel that I love clay masks more than any other mask. When it comes to clearing your skin, a clay mask is the way to go. I do sell a tea tree clay mask on my website, my website Fresh Faced. I'll link it in the description if you wanna go and check it out. It is currently out of stock, this did sell out, um, but this is my tea tree mask that I sell. And I decided to sell it myself because I know how good they are and I know how much it does change your skin and you know almost instantly clears it so they are really good but this one in particular is a great mask for if you've got spots from people that have spoken to me they swear by this product they love this product and they yeah they really felt a massive difference in this product and a particular person did try this and then they ended up buying the entire range which i wouldn't recommend if you find a product that works that's tea tree in it then great you know add another product or so but don't get the whole range you do not need the whole range i will always stress that when it comes to your spots oh my god it's raining well i don't know why it's oh my god but it is raining in fact yeah this product glides on the skin so easily honestly it is so ridiculously soft and silky like it literally feels so super silky on the skin and um, yeah, it does smell really, really nice. But yeah, when I first put it on, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And when you've got it on your face, it looks so like aesthetic. I don't know what the word is really, but it just looks really nice on the skin. And yeah, it's like a proper, proper face mask. What I would say though, is that I do prefer mine on my website. Now I'm probably biased maybe, um, but the reason why I prefer mine is because this one, when it sets on the skin, it doesn't fully, fully set. It's kind of like a set on your skin where it's just, you know, it's dried. Whereas the one that's on my website, when it sets, your face feels really tight and you can really feel it making like a massive difference. And I just like tight feeling clay masks. So this is the kind of clay mask that doesn't make your skin feel tight, whereas mine does. And that's what I like, maybe you're different. And you can see a difference when this is set, it changes color. So that's what I like about mine. And also when you go to wash these off, mine will wash off instantly as soon as water hits my product on your face it washes straight off it doesn't require any like rubbing or anything like that whereas this one you do have to rub it quite a bit to get the product off which i do find quite annoying because it is quite of a creamy product rather than like a set clay product even though it is a clay mask um i would recommend though that you use this a couple of times a week if you do have the product or if you do want to get the product um or if you want to check out my website because i also have other products on my website i've got my um lemon scented cleansing balm to take off your makeup and also my tea tree oil as well so i do use tea tree i use this every single day just on my individual spots I would give that product though, the tea tree clay mask, an eight out of 10. Now we've got the tea tree mattifying lotion, which is nine pounds 50. So this product is what I've heard very drying on the skin. It's a mattifying lotion. So it is there to just make your skin strip back from oils. If you've got oily skin, this will be a, you know, a decent product for you, especially if it's really oily. But if you've got dry skin or anything like that, steer clear from this product. If you've got spots, just because it's tea tree does not mean that you need it. In fact, if anything, you probably shouldn't be using that product if you've got spots because you just don't wanna be overusing the tea tree products, like I say, and it is meant for kind of mattifying oily skin. I haven't personally used it because I, nowadays I embrace my oils. I enjoy glowy um, kind of skincare products and hydrating products rather than sort of mattifying products. So I embrace that rather than, you know, try and get rid of it. The next product is a good one. This is one I have used and have I got here? Yeah, this is the Tea Tree Squeaky Clean Scrub. This is eight pounds. This product, everybody calm down. This product is so, so, so good. This is the, by far my favorite product in the range that I've tried. I really, really swear by this product and really love it. It has run out, it is completely empty. But this is an excellent product. It is definitely the best product that I, you know, one of the best products that they sell, in my opinion. After my first use of this product, I noticed that my spots was completely reduced, like completely reduced. They were so much less than they were before, even after my first use. And after using this a few times, I use scrubs 
two to three times a week. My skin was so much clearer, so this is an excellent product. What I would say if you have acne, any scrub would probably ag aggravate your spots. So maybe a scrub is not for you um, because it might aggravate your spots, but if you've just got a few spots, then this product is a winner winner chicken dinner. This is a really great product. It makes your skin feel so clean and refreshed, and that's kind of the main sort of perks to this product. I would 100% rebuy, and this is a solid 10 out of 10. So yeah, tea tree, squeaky clean scrub, go and get it, it's only eight pounds. Okay, the next product is the tea tree night lotion. So the night lotion, it could be good in combination with some of the other products. So for example, if you've just got a couple of other products from the range, this might be good. It's something that you put on to kind of specific spots you don't wanna use um, or dry out the skin too much because obviously tea tree is very drying and it's definitely the kind of thing that you obviously use overnight because it is a kind of an overnight treatment the reason why i would say that maybe this is a good product to use is because night time is the time to treat your skin it's the time to put the effort in if you're going to and it's the time for these products to really work on your spots no point in putting it on in the day because you're going to probably put makeup on over the top or you might be touching your face whereas at night that's the time when you probably won't touch your face maybe as much and you've not got makeup on so that's a good time to use it so maybe that is a good one to go for i personally didn't try it it is 10 pounds so yeah overall i would say from what i've heard from what people have said they said that it was it was okay it wasn't amazing um tea tree oil does work more effectively than that product pure tea tree oil the next one which i have tried is the tea tree three in one wash scrub mask now i have got my opinions on this product so this product is 100% not needed. You do not need this in your skincare routine unless you are lazy. If you're lazy and you just want it all in one, go ahead, get it. But it's not needed, it's just an extra product. They've already got a wash, they've already got a mask, they've already got a scrub, and all of those products individually will help your skin on their own, in their own time. Mixing them all together does not make it you know, a good product. Do you know what I mean? Like It doesn't make it three times as good because they're all mixed together. And I think we need to remember that. So if you use the separate products, they will work more effectively than if you just use that one product on its own. I found that it was more of a scrub than anything. It wasn't really a mask because it didn't really set. And it's definitely not a wash because it's got scrubby particles in it. So it is more of a scrub. And I would say, if you're gonna get a scrub, get the squeaky clean, squeaky clean scrub and it's 50p cheaper as well. But yeah, I do know some people that swear by that product and they do really love it. So just bear that in mind. But I personally think that's somebody that just doesn't want loads of products in their skincare routine. But I just don't think it is what it says on the tin. I don't think it is a wash and I don't think it's a mask. I think it's a scrub, but that's my opinion. Um, next product is the tea tree oil. It's £8.50 and I think how many mils do you get? So for 10 mil it's £8.50. So that's £8.50 for 10 millilitres. I have got pure tea tree oil on my website. This is 30 mil and this is £5.99. Is £5 yeah I think this is £5.99 on my website and this is pure tea tree oil and you get 30 mil so it's cheaper than their 10 mil. There is other kind of ingredients within their tea tree oil and also it isn't pure pure tea tree oil however pure tea tree oil works so effectively i would recommend if you want to go and check out my website that's linked in the description if you do use this pop them directly onto individual spots do not put it all over your face because again extremely drying but because it's such a good product for spots you can just pop it on individual spots and it will work so well to reduce each spot so i think we need to bear that in mind but if you do want to buy this product from the body set shop then do remember to just use it on individual spots not rubbing it over your face because you will cause problems and um, so next up we've got the hand wash it's not needed use a different hand wash it can be really drying the last thing you want on your hands you know you don't really get spots on your hands anyway and it's not really too much of an issue people don't see them too much um but yeah you don't need a tea tree hand wash just get a different hand wash because tea tree is quite a drying product it might dry your hands out like i don't use like using soap as in like a bar of soap on my hands because it's so drying i just don't like it does anyone agree with me i don't know sorry my camera just decided to turn off it always turns off when i'm speaking for too long um but the next product is the tea tree targeted gel this is seven pound fifty and it you know it is what it says in the name it is meant for specific spots i haven't used this myself because again i'm not a massive kind of user of loads of tea tree products you have to remember that i still want to make these reviews because i still know a lot of information about each product but i doesn't mean i've tried everything um 
not needed really especially if you have the oil for example if you've got my tea tree oil or any tea tree oil or you've got the body shop one you do not need this product because that that oil is for specific spots this product is for specific spots if you're layering product on top of product on top of product it's just going to mix together and it's not going to be a nice combination you want to really stand alone those products that you've selected and really let them work themselves without mixing them with other ones so yeah if this is the only product you've got in your routine then great go for it it might work really well i have heard from people when i did sell things for the body shop that it was a really great product and it reduced their spots it didn't get rid of them but it reduced them which obviously is still really good but yeah again this is a product that's great for overnight kind of treatment which i obviously agree with why is my hair being pooey also my nails are kind of like tea tree like green anyway um then they've got soap they've got a soap it's the tea tree purifying soap it's just a bar of soap it's four pounds i've got the body shop charcoal soap and that is amazing i love that soap so much again it can be a little bit drying but it's so good for clearing your skin it's so good for spots i would highly recommend that one but the tea tree one again i haven't tried it it is apparently really good as well and again it is a bit drying this product i have actually read the reviews and a lot of people did say it was really really drying their skin out because a it's a soap and b it's got tea tree in it so just bear that in mind i don't think personally that that product is needed use a facial wash use the foam wash but not this or you could use the charcoal one because that's also very similar and that's also great for spots they do also have the tea tree skin clearing body wash so this is for your body if you've got spots on your body then that might be a great product to go for and to try if you don't then it's not needed just use a normal one from Lidl just a cheap one no point in spending £7.50 on a body wash then we've got something that's really cool this is the last product this is the tea tree anti-imperfection peel off mask so this is five pounds it's a one use product which is quite expensive for just a one use product i think but it is really interesting and really cool to use it's a little powder you add some water to it give it a little mix around you have to get the really perfect consistency some people have done this like my mom really perfect peels off in one like she peeled the whole mask off in one it was so cool really satisfying like a great product whereas some people it's all like peeling off in weird places and it's just not good so remember to kind of read the instructions before you do it thoroughly so that you get it right but yeah this is a really fun product to use i would say this is great as a present for somebody or in addition to a present because it is just a fun thing to use or at a sleepover or something like that like it's just something to me that's more of a gimmick than it is an actual good product for the skin and it is really expensive for what it is it's lots of fun but not too many benefits to the skin really i know there's a lot of stigma around peel off masks and whether they do actually do anything for the skin at all but i would rate that an 8 out of 10 purely because i did try it myself and um, purely for the fact that it was really fun to use but yeah so that is everything for this video oh my god that was a really long video i i've only got three of the products that i actually have with me a couple of the ones other ones that i've used but i've obviously thrown out because i've used them in the past hopefully you enjoyed this let me know in the comments if there's any other range you would really like me to review and i will try my hardest to do it because i do love doing these videos i do apologize for the fact that in my last video i had literally tried every single vitamin c product and in this one i haven't really tried most of the tea tree ones but that's because i love vitamin c i love glowy products hydrating products folks this is a drying product and i just want a drying product meant for spots and that's just not my skin type but i still want to make this content so yeah please subscribe i've got a body shop video or more every single week so yeah please like the video and i will see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>